Hi everyone, it's Holly Thursday. We're going to, we've got a dinner party here tomorrow night at our place. You'll see some recipes coming on the website very shortly from that dinner party. One of them I'm going to make a very big lasagna here this evening. Uh, we've, we've got this dish right down right, haven't we, Mez? We've got it down right. So I'll just get Marilyn to pan over here to our right and show you our ingredients. Lots and lots of ingredients here. We've got for the bechamel sauce, butter, milk and flour. We're going to put some uh, spinach in the, uh, in the lasagna. I know that looks like a lot, but it uh, wilts down a lot. Got some fresh vegetables, shallots, capsicum, mushies, and two different types of onions. I'm a bit of a stickler for having two different types of onions. Some condiments and flavours here: parsley, Worcester, uh, pepper, some red sauces, garlic. Also got um, some molten sea salt, which my sister bought me recently. It's a lovely flavour. Some red for the sauce. Some extra virgin olive oil from Moro. I know we're a big fan of theirs. Got some mince over here, a whole stack. I'll use some of that to make a chili con carne later, but half of that will be for the lasagna. Got to cook that in this big fry pan here. Let me come back to you, um, the lasagna. It's going to be quite a long cook, this one, so I'll come back to you shortly. Uh, that's the lasagna um, meat sauce that's just pottering away there. I've had that going for about half an hour. You can see that it's cooking beautifully. It's nice and thick. Merrily likes the lasagna sauce, nice and thick, don't you love, rather than being too runny. And tomatoey. And tomatoey. So you can see that's lovely red sauce. That's, that's just pottering away. What I'm going to show you now is what we're going to do with the spinach. Okay, Merrily will come over here to the spinach. You can see there's a lot, but interestingly with spinach, it wilts hugely. And that won't be too much. So, Moro extra virgin olive oil. I've got that, um, I've had that uh, pot plate going for a little while. And a glass of white wine in the background. Yes, and also Brisbane and Richmond is boring as in the background, so I decided to go and do some more cooking. So, here we go. So, you can see that. You've got that, hot, hot, that oil nice and hot. So, the spinach, all of this is going to go in. You can see four packs. One. Two, and as I said, all of this is going in our lasagna. Three. And four. Now, clearly you can see that's a huge amount of spinach. We'll come back to you in a while when that's cooked and you can see how much that will have wilted. Okay? It this is the size of the lasagna dish that we're going to be putting the food in. So you can see there has to be quite a lot of food in it. It's all right? gigantic. Okay? Back to you shortly. It's going beautifully. Merrily loves it. Lovely and tomato. You can see that sticking in beautifully. Really happy with it. So that's pottering away. Over here, this is our spinach. Look how much that's wilted. That's now cooked through. Okay? I've got the back right hand corner on, just on warm here at the back here. That spinach is going to go there right now. And just keep warm. You can see that's flat stick. I've got my bechamel ready now, Mez. I've got 10 tablespoons of flour, 125 grams of butter, 750 mils of milk. This is going to be a big bechamel. I've been through that before with you on our on our website. I'll just go and make that now and we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, flour and the butter is now mixed together. Okay, you can see that. It's going to work together well. I'm going to add the first half of the milk now. Okay, so watching. Okay, also, I've just smelt that that heat's a bit too high, so I've turned that heat down straight away. You can see, once again, I'm using the technique of having the, the whisk again, the technique of having the whisk again to do this more, this bechamel sauce. Now, while you're watching, I'll get, try and get it out of the shadow if I can. Um, while you're watching, that will thicken very, very, very quickly because there's so much flour in there. Okay, that's already thickening. I can see that. I can feel it. Okay. You can see that it's thickening quite well. So, in with another, another third of the milk. A bit left there. Just let that sit for a minute while I clean up. The messy chef's a dodgy chef, so I'll get that clean for you. Okay, keep on going with the whisking. This is a technique I used, uh, learned from lots and lots of watching cooking shows, is that making a bechamel sauce with a whisk can get all out all the lumps and impurities, and you end up with a beautiful bechamel. That tuna um, mornay we made earlier, Mez, was a good uh, bechamel, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Okay, and finish off with the rest. Come back to you when that's fully thick. Have a look at that. That I'm again. I'm very lucky. That's thick and beautiful. I'm actually putting a lot of force in that. That is so thick and beautiful and gorgeous. All right. So that's our bechamel sauce without the cheese. Come over here, Mez, to the cork, and we'll add the cheese into it. Again, I stress you add the cheese for things like this always off the heat. You never ever add it on the heat. I'm stupid. I haven't added. It. Open that cheese yet. We'll go over there. Okay. Need some more cheese. 
beautiful. Just grab a spoon for that one. Okay, make a mixture of the bechamel sauce. Okay, we're ready to create our lasagna now. What I'll do, we'll um, duck off the video for a minute, get everything ready for you, and come back when we're ready to go. You can see that our bechamel sauce, that cheese has gone through that beautifully. Honestly, smells beautiful. Come back. Okay, you can see that we've prepared our Latina um, pasta sheets here. They're ready and cut up, ready to go. Merrily's had me put the meat sauce out first, so I'll dish that out, uh, out of our fry pan. See, that's ready to go. So the pasta goes on next. We'll come back to you when that's fully done. Okay, next is some white sauce on top of all of that. Again, I'll come back to you when that's all sorted out. It's pretty boring watching it be put out. We'll come back to you in a minute. No. There's the white sauce that's been put out. Lovely layer of that. Now, straight on with the spinach. So half of the spinach on top of that. Again, I'll come back to you when I've got that all sorted out. Back to you in a minute. Okay, you can now see that the spinach has been laid out nice and uh, evenly. We're going to put some more pasta on top of that and then put some meat, so meat sauce on that. Come back to you in a minute again. Oh, you, can see, you can see we've got the pasta on that now. Now I'm going to put the rest of the meat sauce on top of that. Again, I won't uh, bore you with it. We'll come back to you in a moment. Just want to show you that that's what's going to go on top of there. Okay, there's the meat sauce on top of that. No more pasta in this. Please stay with me merely. I'm going to put the rest of the spinach on top of this now. You can see that layers are starting to go into this and it's starting to fill right up in that massive lasagna dish here. I'll just put that out. Okay, you can see, as I said, I know that was a lot of spinach with Kuchel. I can see, it, can see now that just managed to get there over there, the rest of our sauce. Come back to you a minute and we'll uh, finish off the, sauce, the lasagna for you. Okay, I've had the oven, you can see, at 180. That's been on for about 15 minutes, so it's nice and hot. Means we'll come back to the sauce and finish off with it. Here's the remaining bechamel sauce. You can see they've got pasta there under that for the spinach and the meat. This is the last remaining layer. Again, we we'll might just stop, stop the video, come back to you in a moment when it's all uh, dished up. Now that's the lasagna finished, except for the parmesan. You can see it's all laid. That's the bechamel. The fat ink and the smells coming out of this is outrageously good. So I'll put some parmesan on. Be generous with it. Don't bat hold back. Okay, over to the oven. That's nice and hot. I'm going to put that in for say 45, 50 minutes, just see how it's going after about 40. And there's the lasagna, and we'll show you the finished result very shortly. Hello everybody, I want to show you the lasagna before I take it out, it's going to be a big job to get it out. But just show you that, have a look at that uh, lasagna there, that's actually ready to go. Okay, that's been cooking for about, say, 50, 55 minutes, I reckon. I'll just get it out very gently. It's a big deal. Do you want another tea towel? Um, no, I think I'll be right. Uh, yes, sorry, it's very, very... Straight over to the court. Over here. And there's our lasagna. Okay, that's cooked through. You can see that's beautifully golden brown on top. I'll just turn this oven off. Really, really happy with that. So that's a layered uh, lasagna with bechamel sauce, spinach and meat sauce. Cannot wait. Smells magnificent. Um, this is a recipe that Merrily's perfected that uh, she's got me cooking and so, so happy with. So that's our lasagna with bechamel, spinach and meat sauce.